So right now I'm packing up dive gear to leave town and go diving and filming. This is normally something I love to do and I look forward to very much. But today's a little bit different. You see I'm packing up to go dive offshore southwest Florida. This is a region that right now is being devastated by a major fish kill. Our plan is to go dive artificial reefs off the coast of Naples. My hope is, is that these artificial reefs are far enough offshore that they're somewhat buffered from the fish kill. I'm gonna to try to be hopeful, cross our fingers, gonna take the camera equipment, we're gonna document what we see and report back. Hope for the best. So we're about 30 miles offshore Naples right now. We are gonna jump in a site called Rooney Reef. It's a popular artificial reef site out here. You can just take a look and see how it looks below. So today on our first dive, we did see all the invertebrate life forms were, were still dead and decaying. Looks like they died relatively recently. But what's concerning is, is we are 30 miles offshore. We're a good ways away from land. And the fact that there's still this much death this far out is pretty concerning. That might likely imply everything from here to the coast could be in significant trouble. So we're gonna do a few more dives out here and, and see what else we can find. We do have a persistent red tide bloom that is stretched 30, 40 miles offshore. So we're out here grabbing some samples so we can characterize how widespread the bloom is. We immediately noticed all the dead invertebrates, gastropods, snails, bivalves. Everything was dead and just kind of melted in place is what it looked like. And there wasn't even one fish that we could find. So that brown layer is pretty consistent top to bottom. Multitude of dead inverts, mostly sea stars down there. And uh, it's coated with a mat of red algae. So one theory as to why this reef appears dead is that the red tide bloom, when it reaches a certain water temperature, 88 degrees, anything above that, it doesn't like, and the bloom can crash all at once. It, it's a mass die off. So when you have that much organic material dying at once and sinking to the bottom, the act of decay uses up all the oxygen and it leaves nothing for the rest of the critters to, to breathe. So at 20 miles, everything was dead. So from 20 miles to 30 miles, we assume everything was in pretty rough shape. So we came into about three miles off Naples. We dove there, an artificial reef structure, 
in, in comparison to the other reefs, it looked like a somewhat normal, healthy reef. We had fish swimming around, multiple species. We had snook, cobia, snapper, pork fish, just the list goes on and on. We had a lot of life there. And if you didn't know about the red tide event or the fish kill event, you would think this is a healthy reef. And for the most part it was. We did see some dead invertebrates there as well, but I also did see a live sea cucumber. That was the first live invertebrate that I pretty much noticed today. But again, a lot of fish swimming around, a real pretty reef. So it was very exciting to see that. It gives me hope what we saw today, since we did see four or five different fish species, which is a far cry from no fish that we saw three days ago. I had mixed feelings about today. It was horrible to see all that death far offshore. But there was a glimmer of hope seeing some of those fish swimming out there to kind of get an idea of the resiliency of Mother Nature. I mean, things are, are hanging on. Red tide is a natural algae cell found in these waters. It's when it gets to these plague-like amounts where it becomes very dangerous and detrimental. When you have a lot of nitrogens, ammonias, and things in the water, these algae cells could rapidly absorb that and grow to really enormous populations and then they can die off and both the red tide itself will kill fish and animals and then the die off will suck the oxygen out of the water and that will kill all the invertebrates as well. So you literally have an ecosystem that collapses. Every animal in the food chain from invertebrate to big fish swimming are all gone. We need to learn to limit our nutrients. We have a developmental situation down here in Florida where we keep building, we keep cutting down vegetation basically, things like mangroves or even vegetation on land, those all help suck nutrients out. So we're literally bringing more people to the area, creating more nutrients, and at the same time, removing our natural buffer for nutrients. And so that's gonna to continue to be a problem unless that changes. We need to do our part of society to clean up our act and to keep our environment healthy and happy, and that's our only hope.